Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of biology, we shall discuss the topic called reproduction in plants. Moving on to the reproduction in plants. So first, plants must reproduce so that they grow in numbers, so that they will give lot of oxygen to us, as well as they take lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, controlling the global warming. Okay, so moving on. The plants have roots, stems and leaves. So these are called as the vegetative parts of a plant. So what are the vegetative parts of a plant? The roots, the stems and leaves. Coming on to flowers. So flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant. A flower may have either the male part or the female part or both male and female parts in a single flower also. So in this part one we shall discuss the uh, asexual reproduction in plants. In the part two we shall discuss about sexual reproduction in plants. So there are two ways of reproduction in plants like animals also. So asexual and sexual reproduction. In the first part we shall discuss the asexual reproduction. So as we have seen the vegetative parts of a plant that is uh, roots, stems and leaves. So if they participate in the reproduction these are called this type of reproduction is called vegetative propagation. Okay, because the vegetative parts of plants are participating in it. What are the vegetative parts? Roots, stems, leaves and buds. So in this type of reproduction, new plants are formed without the production of seeds or spores. Okay, seeds are not involved in this. Only the vegetative parts like roots, stems or leaves and buds are involved in this. So what are the types of asexual reproduction through vegetative propagation method? is involved. So these are the types of methods involved in this type of reproduction. So first is cutting, layering, grafting, budding, fragmentation and spores formation. So the first is cutting. So as you know cutting we see in uh, rose plants. So what is this? A part of stem is cut and the cut end grows into new plant when it is placed in the moist soil. Generally we do for rose plants, lemon, lychee, guava and mango. This is a general method we know it. Next is grafting. The stem of a plant is cut and then fitted on another strong plant and covered with grafting wax. So stem is cut and fit on another plant. So here stem transplant is done. So this is done in apples, oranges, watermelon, ornamental plants like flowers, all those things. So next method is layering. What is layering? The stem of the plant is bent. So like this you can see on the figure. So after it grows into a new plant, this stem will be cut. Okay, this is done in jasmine, rose, lemon, this type of layering method. Next method is air layering. So a slanting cut is made in the stem and kept separate with a toothpick. Okay, so moss and plastic is wrapped around it till the new roots grow for it. Then the new plant is cut and planted separately. This method is called as air layering. General methods are cutting, grafting, layering. Okay, so next we shall see the fourth method called budding. Generally this budding happens in the yeast, the single cell organism called yeast. Generally we see, see yeast in, in bakeries, okay, in baking items. So this yeast when it is placed in a container with water and I, when we add a spoonful of sugar to it, so it forms new birds, okay. So what happens during this, the nucleus will disintegrate into two parts or several parts forming new birds. So new birds or new offsprings will be produced in this budding method. This is seen in yeast. Remember yeast follows budding method. Next method is fragmentation. So what do you mean by fragmenting? It is breaking down. So it is seen in the algae. Okay. So when water and nutrients are available, algae will grow and multiply rapidly by fragmentation. Okay, an algae breaks up into two or more fragments. Okay, n number of fragments. What is algae? Algae is present in rivers, ponds, lakes. The green color material present on the top layer of the water bodies is called algae. So it grows into n number when it has convenient environment, when it has water and nutrients. Okay, so fragmentation is seen in the algae. The last method of asexual reproduction is spore formation. So what is spore formation which we see in fungi? So what is spore formation? So generally fungi and bacteria have the parent plant produces hundreds of tiny spores which can grow into new plants. Generally we see on bread mold the fungi grows. So those are small small spores when it has a convenient environment it grows into 
or it multiplies into n number of new plants. These pores are microscopic, tough and resistant bodies which are round in shape and can grow into a new plant. We can see in the figure, okay, this is pores and this is a sporangium, this is a new plant. On a bread mold, this is a bread mold. When it is kept in the normal atmosphere, not in the refrigerator, when it is kept outside, the spores will be formed and new plants will be formed on it. This is called a fungi. We can see on pickles also, right? Okay. So this is a type of spore formation, which is the sixth method in asexual reproduction. So first is cutting, then grafting, then layering, then budding, then fragmentation and then spore formation. So this is all for this session in the part one of reproduction in plants. We shall meet in the next sessions. Thank you so much.